Hey guys, welcome back. Remember we used this data set on SageMaker twice with different methods of employ of deployment with uh, SageMaker pipelines? Well, today on Azure Cloud, I'm going to show you how to deploy one of these models using Azure ML, Auto ML. Anyways, guys, we're not gonna drop any columns. We're just going to simply uh, encode and fill in A's for zero. Now I have to warn you, there's a class imbalance. Okay, let's skip ahead right now and let's test the model. Zero. Anyways, guys, uh, this is how you can check the deployment logs. I'm skipping ahead to the end, and then I'm going to go back to the beginning. Model. Okay, guys, before any of that, after you clean the data, imported it, um, you guys need to uh, import these libraries right here. Don't worry, this takes a small amount of code. Azure ML um, actually... Uh, picks the best algorithm for you. This automates the ML lifecycle process and you can pick out child jobs as well. And, okay, you gotta create your workspace. I do have to warn you guys, uh, do this instance right here, unless you have a higher account, then use more instance. And upgrade your nodes to two. Do two nodes, so it'll be able to complete it. If you're not familiar with Kubernetes or any of this stuff, uh, or compute clusters, instances, I, I suggest you guys read on documentation or just do exactly as I'm doing. Okay. The VM size is this. Make sure you guys pick this size for the compute instance. Okay, copy all that right there. Okay, import pandas. Read that data frame we just encoded in Philonese for zero. Okay. Create an MPY file, save it, and the data store. I had already previously done that. That's why it said um, target already exists. The target path, do it there. Basically, the path you're following from the notebook. Okay. And the end, it's got to go into blob storage. Okay. DF head. Let's look at it. Make sure that this is a zero and not a 0, 0. Otherwise, you'll get an error in the algorithm. It's got to be an integer. Okay. Data set. Data set by name. That's to double check to make sure it didn't do it as a decimal. Okay. Now, here's what you would do if you were doing regression. Um, I mean, this is what you'd be doing if you're doing regression. If you wanted to change, change this to error, you guys could do that too. Time out 30 minutes, otherwise it'll run a long time. Your target class and the data set, the training data, which you named it. Do three cross-validations and two concurrent iterations, and then negative one for max cores per iteration. This is to make sure it'll work at your compute instance. Okay, submit. As you guys can see, this data set is imbalanced. That was the only thing that raised a flag. However, we had high uh, accuracy. Okay. Past, past. Run details. Remote show. Okay, and then the highest. Hey, let me go to that actually. Okay, what you do is you go to the experiment you created in the notebook, and then you go to your job, and then you go to child jobs, and then... Actually, let, let me just walk you through it. Your job, and here's your child jobs to see all the jobs you completed. Okay, 
All right, and let's just go to models. The voting ensemble, and then we can view the explanation. This was the highest one. Okay. And we can see AutoML for the accuracy. Look. One of them didn't do too good. Wait for completion. It passed all the value imputation, imputation and the feature detection for high cardinality. Okay, show the output. And then here's to get the metrics. The best run and the best accuracy. Run ID. The final estimator. These are the parameters. The property of the model name. You guys see it? AutoML, EB. Okay, import those uh, libraries right here. This is for the service. You guys don't need to do a score PY because of it. I was going to score it, but I decided not to. Anyways, save to directory, the environments, download the file, register the model, model ID, and this is how you deploy at this instance. It's going to create a container, and then this will take a little over 10 minutes depending on your web service and everything else in the container image. So hang in there. Okay, waits for service true, the CPU cores, and then the gigabytes, max memory is one. The state is healthy. Let's get logs from the notebook. And then this is how you can delete the service and everything else. That line of code right there. So anyways, guys, if, if you saw uh, earlier in the video, we did a, we did a post request. Stay tuned. Um, I thought about doing another one on um, on Azure. However, if you guys want to change that to re to regression, um, change that right there. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. In the next video, um, we're gonna do something different. I haven't decided what. No more SageMaker pipelines for a while. However, I hope you guys enjoyed Azure. And remember, you can upgrade to a higher instance on your account if you want. However, there's a limit if you're using the pay-as-you-go. You have to re request support for more. But if you guys do what I do, do that instance and do this one right here, you won't need to. This one right here, the DS4 V2. And then upgrade the nodes to two. Okay. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.